book was really written as a letter to a younger version of myself who didn't realize that the journey itself is more important than this destination. And I was really caught up from my very first year of graduate school and we all used to think about what could we do to win a Nobel Prize, it was the ultimate A+. But along the way, when you focus on these awards, say an actor just purely focused on winning an Oscar or a director, that causes a person to have tunnel vision, to focus intently on just achieving a single goal. And I think that goal orientation uh, reflects and can do damage to, to a scientist's integrity and to the way that they conduct themselves. I think it actually, in many cases, is punishing scientists and setting up artificial collaborations uh, that disintegrate because uh, the competition that exists to win the Nobel Prize, uh, to compete for the dwindling amount of resources that are available, and also that the, that the prize is really not representative of the spectrum that is modern science. It's diverse. It's men and women. It's from all countries. It's not just three people, at most, sitting in a room. And I think it's, it's demeaning to science to say that this is the ultimate thing to aspire for, whereas the scientific journey is reward and should be reward in itself. And I think we have to act now. I think it's an urgent time. We can actually transform it before it's too late. Change is difficult, and I think my book is written in such a way to give concrete ideas for people to transform this accolade so that it is this gilded, lustrous thing that is worthy of aspiration, and in doing so, reflect how science is done today.